now that we've finished building the motor, we can discuss a little bit about how it's constructed and then see how it functions. So, as you know, in the first part, we finished building this to where there is a coin taped to a wire in the bottom of this motor with the magnet and the nails going up from it. Now, we also see that the wire coming out that's attached to the coin is now going to go to the power supply. And the original wire that we used in question one to complete the circuit is now touching the bottom part of the magnet where we have the nail half coated in white out. So now that this is a different circuit, we will see a slightly different behavior. Now you should be able to answer, since this question two, regarding how the motor actually functions.